So this question starts off by providing us with an inequality. It says 2x minus y is greater than 883. The question goes on to say, for which of the following tables are all the values of x and their corresponding values of y? Solutions to the given inequality. So the strategy that I'm going to use to solve this is plug in answers, right? Every one of these tables provides values for x and y that I can plug into the original inequality and test. So let's test that. So I'm going to use, it looks like each of our tables have x values of 440. So we want to know, well, what's happening when x is 440? We want to know what's happening when x is 441. And we want to know what's happening when x is 442. Those are our only three options for x. So let's see what happens. So if x is 440, Again, my equation 2x minus, or my inequality, 2x minus y is greater than 883 would become 2 times 440 minus y is greater than 883. 880 minus y is greater than 883. And negative y is greater than positive 3, right? When I subtract 880 from both sides. And then I have to divide both sides by negative 1, which gives me a positive y is less than negative 3. Okay, so now let me check. Where do I have my y values that go along with 440 as being less than negative 3? I think here, right, 0. Oh, actually, no, not there. So 0 is not less than negative 3. So that means A is gone. 0 is not less than negative 3, so B is gone. Negative 2 is not less than negative 3, so C is gone. And D, negative 4, is less than negative 3, so D must be the correct answer. Right? So we didn't even really need to check these because by plugging in just what, X, what we get from Y when X is positive 440, we were able to figure out which one of these answer choices fits, and it was only choice D that did so.